Today I've got on the mill probably one of the ugliest pine logs I've ever seen. This was a standing dead pine tree from my uncle's property, which is literally right next door. And he wants these cut up into some true two by sixes so he can build himself a little shed. Now you saw that the outside of these look pretty rough. It was a standing dead tree. It got cut down. All the bark of course is off of it. But if you can see here, it's still pretty solid. I mean, it's not rotten, but look at this right here. The end grain right here looks really really nice we still got a lot of good tight grain doesn't look like a whole lot of rot has happened to this tree um, I think it's gonna be some really really nice lumber so let's go ahead and get into it and see what it looks like Before I go any farther, I wanted to show y'all something pretty cool, and I've done a video on this before, but it seems to be just a really cool technique that kind of maximizes what you can get out of a log while saving really kind of the most time. So this cant right here is about eight and three quarter, just a shade over eight and three quarter. And of course, what I need is a six inch cant to get two by sixes out of it. But if I went ahead and I cut off, or cut this all the way down to six inches, I would end up wasting a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down two inches and get a because I'm getting two by sixes right I'm going to come down two inches right here get that cut and then I'm going to move that piece over to right here so that it's between this cant and the uh, the stops right here then I'm going to shave the whole thing down to six inches and at that point the board that's right here will be a two by six and I can go ahead and take it off the mill before I flip this cant over and start getting my main two by sixes out of this log so in other words there's an extra two by six in this log we've just got to get it out and that really kind of seems the seems to be the best way to do it so let's do that and uh, go from there
And just like that, we kind of did a few operations in one or two little moves there. We've got our main six inch cant that we can now start getting most of our two by sixes out of. We've got our extra two by six that we may not have gotten or could have gotten, but just with a few extra more difficult steps if we had just kind of kept going and cut off thicker slabs. We've got very little waste as well. We've got this little strip of waste right here that's really not good for much of anything. And we've got this little strip of waste right here, which amounts to about a three eighths of an inch board or a almost wow <laughs> almost a piece of veneer i guess you could say so pretty good there i don't feel bad about wasting that stuff at all so let's go ahead and get this two by six off flip our cant and start getting most of our two by sixes out of it That turned out really, really good. You can see the outside of that log looked pretty rough, but the inside yielded some really, really nice boards. Still a little bit green, of course, but that's not that big of a deal, really. He can put them up green or let them dry. Either one will work perfectly well. So this is three right here, and I knocked that one down just so y'all could see the middle, plus the one that we've already cut. So that makes five out of this one log. So I think that's a really good yield for a size for that size of a log. Um, these are 12 and a half. 12 and a half feet long as well. So he's gonna get a lot of use out of these. So this log is a little bit bigger than the last log. This one's gonna be 13 by 12, so it's a little bit oblong. And I don't even know how big the last one was. I didn't measure the diameter of it, but I just know that this one looks a little bit bigger. But it is kind of curved, it's bowed, and I've kind of got it situated weird on the mill. I was hoping to get even more out of this one than I got out of the last one, but the way that it is, uh, it, they'll probably end up being a fair amount of waste, I don't know. So hopefully we'll get six out of it, we'll see. Let's cut it up and see what we get.
So this is working out pretty good. It looks like I'm going to get at least one extra two by six just from these two cuts. I'll be able to cut down here, cut down here right before I do my six inch cant. Then we'll like we did on the last one, we'll just flip them right here and edge them. But it won't be quite the total length of the cant here. This cant's about 12 and a half. We're going to lose probably two and a half feet right here. But it doesn't really matter because that'll give us still a nine and a half foot uh, two by six. So that's really good. put the camera in kind of a weird spot hoping that it would kind of pick up the middle here and how bowed up it is but I don't think it's picking it up that well so the middle right there is quite high I didn't really measure it this end right here hope y'all can see that this end right here is going to be right at eight and seven eighths or something like that so and this right here is actually the lowest end so what we're going to have to do is settle for four two by sixes out of this cant right here and that will be in addition to the two that we've already got so we ended up getting six out of this or should end up getting six out of this i shouldn't count my chickens before they hatch i don't guess but we should get four out of this and that'll do six and that'll be one more than the last one so not too bad really That pretty well does it for that log. Here's four right here, and there's the two that I took off earlier. You see this one was pretty ugly. It's got quite a bit of wane on it, but there's still a lot of good usable two by six right there. There's a little bit of wane on this bottom one as well, but it makes it no less usable. That was a great, great haul from that crooked log. Let's switch it up and do some two by fours to finish out the video.
I'm doing the same technique on this log as I was doing on the other ones just to maximize what I can get out of the log. But it's gonna it's looking like I'm gonna be able to actually get some two by sixes out of this one as well instead of all two by fours. I was after two by fours, but it wouldn't make any sense to chop these down to four when I can actually get at least one decent two by six and kind of one with some weighing on it as well out of these two and of course two by sixes are a lot more useful because you can use them as a two by six or you can cut them down as use and use them as a two by four you can't stretch out a two by four to a two by six though so that's what i'm going to do before i cut this cant down to four we'll cut these in uh, down to six and take them off That turned out pretty good. Of course, I was expecting more two by fours because I wasn't expecting those two by sixes, but it did turn out pretty good because we ended up getting two two by sixes and three two by fours. So not too bad off of that log. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. I've had several people ask me to try to do something with the volume when I'm running the mill because it's just really way too loud. Well, the way that my external microphone works, I can kind of set it to different levels. So please let me know what you thought of the audio in this video because I tried to adjust it down just a little bit so that it wouldn't be so incredibly loud with the sawmill. So I'm hoping the audio will be a little bit better on this video. But that's going to do it for this one. We ended up with, what was that? 12, 13, I think 13 two by sixes and three two by fours out of those three logs. And those logs are really, really ugly. Um, they would have rotted and this was a much better use of them, but great, uh, great yield out of those three logs. Um, nice lumber. And I hope he'll, he'll be able to make something useful out of them. I appreciate y'all watching this video and I will see y'all on the next one.